Take it away. Hello, my name is Colton Bunny. The way to someone's heart is not through commands or power, but rather is through kindness. And I really believe that this principle applied to social technology and behavior change. Thus, over the course of tens of pilots, days of brainstorming, and several failures, I've picked up several key ingredients that allow me to now say that I can use texting to create kind connections between disconnected people. So you ask, what the heck are kind connections? Well, kind connections are relationships between people where only positive exchanges are made. It would be like me and BJ talking one day to each other and using only sentences such as, you've been working hard, take a break. I developed an idea based on this concept of kind connections that through several iterations came to be known as text kindness. People opted into this pilot and each day I asked them to come up with a new way in which someone else can be kind to themselves centered around a central theme that I had chosen pre previously. <clears throat> For example, on Monday I asked them, what would you re recommend to another person to be kind to themselves through vision or through sound, through going outside or interacting with others? And then I took all of these suggestions from users and I dispersed them to the group. What text kindness essentially does is it takes a trigger, texting, something that we're all accustomed to, and it attaches a crowdsourced way to creatively introduce calm into someone's life. Throughout the pilot, I had a 50 to 70% response rate. And over the course of the five-day pilot, I never had the same idea twice out of tens of responses. Surprisingly, I had people not contributing five right answers, but actually full sentences and sometimes even text-long text answers. But you're probably asking, uh, the ideas might be great, they might be creative, and they might be exciting and new every day, but are people actually acting on the ideas? Well, I was curious about this too, and I was kind of afraid that they weren't. So what I did was I actually talked to users personally, and I sent out a feedback survey to all of them. And surprisingly, most, not every single one, but most said that they actually enjoyed doing the acts every single day. So why do I think that texting is the best way to do this? Why do I think it's the best social media medium to promote these kind connections? Well, let's look at some other platforms. There's Facebook. Facebook has people with hundreds, if not thousands, of friends, and these friends have friends. And it's just huge. It's a huge network, and it connects you to people, but everything is very noisy. When you get a comment or you get a like, well, you might not actually pay much attention to that comment or that like. So I decided that Facebook isn't the medium to do kind connections. Then I looked at Twitter. Twitter has one person, they follow several, like sometimes hundreds of people, and hundreds of people follow them. It does, it provides a good route for conversation, but Twitter is ephemeral. Tweets come and go very fast. You don't see all the tweets, you don't, your tweets aren't seen. And it's not a way to create a constant, concrete connection. But then there's texting. You text it between two people. It is concrete, it is personal, and when someone texts you something or you receive a text, you know it was meant for you and not for anybody else. And this is why I think it's the best platform to create kind connections. So what were some of the other concrete or key ingredients that I picked up along the way in some of my other trials? Well, I created a pilot much earlier where I had people breathe while they bite. And then they texted me back how many breaths they took or uh, the cadence of their breaths. And this was actually really <coughs> successful. It created a kind connection actually between me and them. But about halfway through the trial, I actually stopped prompting them to text me back. And this is what I called the day three experiment. And from then on, I didn't ask them for responses. But what I found is they still responded to me every single time I just told them to bike and breathe at the same time. And what this showed is that texting is inherently habitual. And this is key in creating a kind connection between two people because it has to be constant. And then there was something else, the bunny constant reward principle. Every single day during my text kindness trial, I sent two texts, a prompt and a reward text. The prompt asked for a creative way for someone else to be kind for themselves, but not every single user actually responded to this prompt. But when I sent the second reward text, I sent them out to every single person. 
And what I found was 20 to 40 percent of the users who hadn't originally responded to the prompt, when they got this reward, they actually responded to the prompt originally that I had sent. So what I really think is that this funny constant reward principle said that if you constantly reward everyone, you will bring people back into the fray, and you will create an active participant user base. So I really think that kind connections are something that should be fostered through texting. I think that they're innovative, and I think they can apply to many different fields. It is not a way for technology to tell you how to become, but it is rather a way to facilitate connections between two real people in the real world and have them just be kind to each other through technology. Thank you. David, why don't you lead off? Uh, I, I really like the last comment, particularly. Um, and I also like.